How to install Chrome OS on legacy BIOS devices I've made a lot of videos about Chrome OS or other operating systems lately. From dual boot on Windows 10 or Windows 11, bootable USB, full install and others. But one video was all this time still missing. A video that many of you asked me to do. And now here it is. So let's get started. But first, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, so you won't miss any of my future videos. As always, we start with the downloads. And first thing we need to download is Linux Mint. Next, we need Rufus for creating the bootable USB. Here, download the latest stable version of Brunch. And, depending on your CPU, download the Chrome OS image. Same as for Intel's 3rd gen CPUs. RAM is for 4th gen and up to 9th gen. Voltier for 10th and 11th gen. For AMD Stony Ridge and Bristol Ridge is suggested Grunt image, and Zork image is suggested for Ryzen. As you can see, at the moment of making this video, latest Ramus image is version 92, but the Brunch release is 91, so in this case both versions need to match, and I have to download Ramus 91. Last, and the most important thing for installing Chrome OS on a legacy BIOS laptop or PC, is this MBR support patch. You can find all the links, of everything presented in this video, down in the description. Once the download is complete, open Rufus, insert your USB drive, click on Select, and choose the Linux Mint ISO. Leave everything else how it is, and click Start. One by one, extract the brunch release, the Chrome OS recovery image, and the MBR patch. When extracting the MBR patch, you'll be asked if you want to replace the files. Click on Yes. Now that everything is extracted, create a new folder, and rename it Chrome OS. Take all the files and move them into the folder, and rename the Chrome OS recovery image in ramus.bin. Open the Linux Mint USB drive, and in it, move or copy the Chrome OS folder that you just created. Now that everything is ready, you can restart your device and boot from the USB drive. Common keys for accessing the boot menu are Escape, F2, F10, or F12, depending on the manufacturer. Select the USB drive, and wait for Linux Mint to boot up. First thing that you have to do, is connect to the internet. Without internet connection you cannot complete the installation. Now, open Home, click on File System, and in the search bar, type Chrome OS. Once you found the Chrome OS folder, open it, and inside right-click, and select Terminal. Here we have to type the following commands. First command is, sudo apt-get update. Now type, sudo apt-get install figlet. Next, sudo apt-get install pv. sudo apt-get install cgpt. And the last command, sudo bash chrome os dash install dot sh dash src ramus dot bin dash dst slash dev slash and you can look in Gparted for the name of your drive, where you wish to install it. Most common are SDA drives, but sometimes it can be NVMe, or SDB. So better check to be sure. My Windows drive is NVMe. 
The Linux Mint is SDB, and I want to install Chrome OS on my secondary drive, which is SDA. So, back to our command. After dev, slash, type the extension of your drive. In my case, SDA. Now, all you have to do, is wait for Chrome OS to install. After installing, you can restart your device. The Chrome OS drive doesn't appear in my boot menu because I forgot to switch to legacy. To make better from worse, this can be also proof that this method works for legacy laptops and PCs.